You know, that's what graffiti is to me, pure freedom. There's definitely a rush. You're in there, you're sneaking in, you know, you're with your homeboys. There's like this feeling, you know, you hear trains, the motor kind of clicking on and off. You hear the tracks change. There's all these elements that add to the whole mystique of that's in a way, you know, you can't even really describe that to people now. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why I write graffiti. It's kind of how like when people have conquered something, they stick a flag in it at the end. And that's my version of my flag, maybe. If I'm upset or I have pain or rage in me, I'll just go out and just destroy shit. I know it sucks, but so does your mom. This picture illustrates the artist's message towards his painting, which will be shown on the next slide. These pictures are all from downtown Corpus Christi. Some of these works we consider street art. Others are just tags. Throughout this project, we have learned a lot about graffiti, including how it began, the types of graffiti, and the meanings behind some of the works. Going downtown, we expected to find a few pieces of graffiti, but instead, we found a huge amount of tags, murals, and gang signs. In fact, all of these pictures were taken around one city block. Next, we will talk about our position of graffiti and how it influences us every time we see it. Writers are the most resourceful people in the world. I guess like most indigenous people, they made the best of what was around them. That same creative nature will help them find a way. The desire's there, people want to paint. They're not gonna stop it completely. People will always paint. That is what I have found in my research. Graffiti and street art are both the manifestation of expression which is something that humans have been doing since ancient times. If you think about it, cave paintings are the first recordable work of graffiti, as artists then were, were painting on walls. In modern times, graffiti has morphed into three main and very distinct sections, murals, tags, and gang signs. We have learned through research, interviews, and personal experience that graffiti is an art form. Artists use mediums ranging from spray paint to chalk to beautify decrepit and rundown city buildings. The most important thing our group has come to terms with is the realization that vandalism will always exist, but that some graffiti is so meaningful and moving that it becomes street art. It's about feeling a kind of a surprise and like something's really alive in an otherwise dead space. What interests me is not only the physical existence of the object, but what happened around this object. It's all of the layers and all of the crackling and peeling paint and bringing life into those spaces. Graffiti. Some people see it as vandalism. Some people see it as an art. But who can actually say what is and what is an art? Is an art just an illustration of someone's imagination? Who's to say art can never be defined? Graffiti is important to our society today because of the impact it has upon all of us. Imagine a world without graffiti. Yes, tags and signs would disappear, but so would the colorful and vibrant street art murals that fill the spaces that would normally only be broken concrete and rusting metal. This semester's research has shown me in my group that graffiti is indeed an art form. I felt like I was drawing something that could almost be read as an x-ray of that person, of their mind or of their life or of their experience, so that you have this portrait, but then you also have all that's contained within their emotions, within their body, within their narrative. Graffiti involves many things, emotion, imagination, creativeness, including the person's ability to draw and their will to use the street as a canvas. Graffiti and street art let people know that there are many different kinds of art and ways to express themselves. Seeing someone's artwork can inspire someone to do something with their lives they never thought they could. Everyone in our group learned a lot about graffiti and street art that taught us many new aspects on this unique way to express a person's mind. I just let my thought process lead and I don't try to ask too many questions about like what's rational or what fits if this new piece fits with the last piece. I just sort of let those impulses steer. I'm going to be sitting for hours thinking like, should I do black here or should I do white here? It might be great. You just go for it. Construct a space 
for a certain kind of connection, for a certain kind of wonder, and for a certain kind of unlikeliness, and for just things that you think that there isn't room for or time for in the life that we're living. Throughout this project, our group learned and experienced an incredible amount about the art and the lives that graffiti artists live. Through research, we learned that artists use graffiti to express themselves. Through interviews, we learned that graffiti is a real art, and it's not just about tagging and destroying things, it's about making space beautiful. In this last section, we will show you an interview of a practicing graffiti artist named Worm. These pictures are of his work and some places that he has traveled and painted in. Some of these places include New York, at Five Points and in our own Corpus Christi. I hope you take away something positive from this recording. All right, hello everybody. Um, this is Jay and I'm going to be interviewing my friend. Um, he knows a lot about graffiti and I'm going to ask him some questions about it. All right, so my first question for you is um, why do you do graffiti or why do you tag or if you know the term tag, what do you know about it? Well, to me, the reason why I paint, it's just pretty much like, it's a lifestyle, you know, everybody paints for different reasons. Like what graffiti is to me, it wouldn't be to the same person, like the next person you ask, you know, every every person you ask, is they're, they're in it for a different reason, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I was telling you earlier, like there's different aspects of graffiti, there's like different graffiti artists, there's like real graffiti artists, there's like uh, people that just go out and paint, like destruct shit which is really not cool, but if you gotta get ups like that, that's that's what you have to do. But really what graffiti is to me, it's just uh, it's just my way of like expressing myself through art with having, without having to pick up a paintbrush, really, you know? Okay. Um, how did you start uh, doing graffiti? Uh, or when did you start? How I old started, were you? I started whenever I was like 16. Uh, when my dad had passed away, I, I was going through a lot of shit, so like I fucking would just be doing stupid shit instead of doing what I needed to do. So now I just I just started painting. Next thing you know, I was like, damn, I really like this. And then I seen like older people painting on walls. I would see like them getting like, like you know, like fame, like as they say, like on walls fame. And I would just be like, dang, like I, I want a piece of that. Like I want some of that, you know? So I I just started painting. I got a little bit good, you know? So that's, that's where I am right now. Sweet. Um, do you feel that graffiti should be legalized to where you could do it anywhere or What's your take on doing it for the public, like setting up public pieces? Like to a certain extent, um, legalizing graffiti, as in like building a wall, like say for some kids to like come and paint, so they don't have to like put the run the risk of getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. That that would I would be all for that. But say like as in like letting people just paint on anybody's buildings, that shits. I feel like that's really not. That's not what what most people are in it for. You know what I mean? Yeah. People, I feel like graffiti artists people look at them like as if like like they're bad people you know or like they they do bad shit like they they're fucking up people's property and stuff i probably shouldn't have cussed right it's okay we'll just let's start it over i know it's good it'll be funny um because <laughs> this adult class <laughs> all right um so can you tell me about the some of the work you've done in corpus and you said you might you do graffiti with some people yeah we've got this little thing going on here in corpus um it's like a like a little group that we get together and uh, we just we just paint they we'll go like to businesses and we have a little portfolio we'll like show them what we can do and then they'll say like they'll give us the go like yeah we'll we'll spend so much money on this amount of paint and then you know what I mean y'all paint this wall we won't charge them anything because what they're doing really is they're they're really paying us by letting us put our art on the wall or just you know what I mean mm -hmm. so like with me with me like with my art I wouldn't want to go out in the middle of the night and go painting on something that I'm going to wake up the next day and go and look at it and it's going to be gone, you know? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make no sense. But, like, that's when, like, a lot of graffiti artists, they say, like, fame is futile. Like, like you go out there and you, like, get, do all this graffiti and you, like, fuck up all kinds of shit. Like, it's going to get buffed out. Like, it's futile. Like, you, it's not going to Fame is futile? Up. Yeah, okay. fame is, like, very futile in, like, this graffiti thing, you know? So, like, how you fix that is you go and you get legal walls to do. So, like, they'll paintings will stay there like you know okay. paintings will stay there for years you know like we we went to this place i don't know if you know riches it's like on airline mm -hmm, like I do. The pinnacle so that's a, that's one of the places that they let us paint at we, we painted all like the rooftop like everything you go back there and it's just like all art and it's just like all hr like and like that's like the most prominent thing that's going on here in corpus right now like that's the one like painting crew right now that's actually trying to make a movement out of this whole like edit get something out of this whole thing you know 
Okay. And what was the what was the name of that? It's called it, it's we, they call it HR. It, it means like high like a higher realm. Okay. So and like I'd say like back in the day like they've been around since like the nineties like all the guys that are in there are like way older. They've been around since like the nineties and I remember like coming to Corpus like whenever I was younger and like seeing all these like all this like stuff and I was like dang like these guys must be like really cool like I want to be like this so that's whenever I just started painting and next thing you know it's just like I'm in it now you know so it's like it's crazy like right. 10 years ago I wouldn't have looked back and been like damn like I'm gonna be like you know just painting like with these guys and it's cool because I'm really cool with them real good with them now so that's awesome all right man well thank you thank you for your time yeah peace